Hello everyone and welcome to the One Stop Co-op Shop. Today I'm going to be doing a solo playthrough of At the Gates of Loyang. If you'd like to see how to set up the game for a solo play, feel free to check out the video before this one in the playlist. Otherwise, let's jump in. To start the game, we'll start at the harvest phase. So in the harvest phase, we'll grab one vegetable, put it in our cart, we'll draw a new private field. And in this private field, we can either have uh, wheat, pumpkin, uh, turnip, or um, cabbage that we could plant there. After that, we'll move to the card phase. Of these cards, the first one we're gonna buy is this regular customer. We're gonna have to pay one buck of the seven that we have. We then get to choose another card, and I think the one that we're gonna grab is this private field. We're gonna purchase this, that also will cost us a buck. So we have a total of five bucks left. Then what we're gonna do with this is we're going to wipe out the whole second row. So this saleswoman is discarded. We're gonna move all of these up. And then with this deck, we're gonna replenish that last row. Perfect. What we're gonna do with those two cards is we're gonna place our regular customer here, and we will place one of these tokens here to show that uh, if by the end of the round we have supplied them with what they're asking for, they'll stay blue. However, we don't, they're gonna flip over to the red side. Now, I have this private field. I'm gonna hold on to this for a second and I'm gonna do a specific action here. You can only do this once per round. This action is called buy a two pack. How we're gonna buy a two pack is we look to see how many cards we have over here in our marketplace and our assistants. Whichever one has more cards in it, that's the cost of doing this two pack action. But since we don't have any cards here, this two pack action is free. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab two cards from the top of the action deck, and we're gonna look at both of these and decide if we wanna keep one, two, or none of them. Let's look at them. Here we have the plowman and a regular customer. Our plowman says, return all vegetables from one of your fields that contains at least two vegetables to the supply. You may not return vegetables from your home field. You can then re-sow this field with anything you want, or you can immediately harvest vegetables from all fields that contain exactly one vegetable token, but not from your home field. Hmm. It's okay, it's not terrible, it's not great. We also have here a, a casual customer, which we would need wheat, uh, a radish, and a bean in order to uh, fulfill. And then we would make nine bucks, plus or minus two bucks. So we can decide if we wanna keep both, keep one, or keep neither. I think, I don't think I'm gonna really use this plowman, so I'm gonna discard him, but I'm gonna keep this regular customer. So the regular customer is gonna come over here on, on the board. We'll place that regular customer right here. Now, this regular customer, we don't have to fulfill this round. We don't have to fulfill ever. We just, whenever we do, we'll get this money, okay? And a plus or minus two, dependent upon how many regular customers we have versus, versus the casual customers. So what I think I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna hold on to this private field. I'm not gonna plant it right now. It costs two bucks, I don't wanna spend the money. Instead, what I wanna do is I'm gonna pay all five bucks that I have left and I'm going to obtain a cabbage. Now, what I could do right now is fulfill this and I would get four bucks for that. However, I'm gonna think a little bit more long-term <laughs> and I'm going to plant this cabbage here, which means I can now f f uh, fill it up from the supply and each round I'm gonna get what I need for that regular customer, which is great. The last thing I'm gonna do this round is I'm gonna take this grain, this extra grain that I have, or wheat, and I'm gonna sell it back to the marketplace. I'm gonna do that so I get one buck back. And the reason I'm doing that is because now it's the end of the round and we get to go and move points, okay? The first step is always only one buck to move up to. So that's why I wanted this buck. So I'm gonna spend it and now we can move our uh, little our little tracker here to two. Now, if I wanted to move to the next spot during this round, I'd have to pay three more bucks, which I don't have. 
But at the end of the next round, it's only going to be $1 to move to this spot, and then it'll be 4 bucks to move to the next. It's kind of cool. It's a cool way of, of, of making it harder and harder to make points and to move up the board. But that's going to, uh, to finish, that's going to finish the uh, round one. Let's start round two. So we'll grab one of each of these because we are harvesting. Then we will draw a new private field. Oh, and this place can have beans as well as all the others. So we're going to have beans and all of these can be planted there. Now let's go look at the cards. Now there's some pretty good cards up in this area. Here's the thing. I have zero bucks. So I have to choose two cards that uh, cost zero. So up here. I'm definitely going to get this marketplace for one. And then it's between the squire or the merchant. And I just don't know which one I want to do. I think I'm going to go with the merchant. So we're going to grab him. And now what we do is we slide. Oh, wait. First, we eliminate the entire second row, which is a bit of a bummer. I wanted that official. That was really a bummer. But now we slide all of these up like so. And then we replenish. All right, let's go and uh, do something on our board. Just so you can see what a merchant can do, you may buy for one buck, one of any vegetable that you must deliver at least twice to your regular customers in this round. For an example, you have a regular customer requiring wheat and wheat and another one that's um, pumpkin and cabbage and another that's pumpkin and leeks. So you might buy one wheat and one pumpkin for only one buck each. Not bad, that's pretty cool. So we'll place our cards over here like so and we'll fill up this market spot that we could go and get some different vegetables okay so the first thing i think we're going to do is we are going to make this customer happy because we need some money so that's going to get us four bucks one two three four you guys something i forgot to do last round I should have flipped this over to red because we did not we did not give her what she wanted last round. So she's unhappy. So if I did not supply her these this round, I would have to pay two bucks. But since I was able to do that, I um, don't have to worry about her charging or being unhappy and I have to lose two dollars. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these three bucks to purchase another grain or wheat. And then I'm gonna take this wheat and I am going to use the marketplace and I am going to trade it for this bean and immediately plant that bean over here. I then will place three more so that the next four rounds I harvest, I have four beans, nice. But I still only have one money. And at the end of this round, so there's nothing else I can really do. So at the end of this round, I am going to pay this one buck so I can move up to the third space. But I can't get to number four because I'd have to have four dollars. But don't forget, next round, when I supply what I need to this regular customer, I'm going to get five bucks instead of four. That'll help. Let's move on to round three. So first, let's harvest. Grab one of each. And then draw a new field. Nice. All right, now let's go look at the cards. Once again, I'm in a great predicament of only being able to buy one card, or only being able to buy cards in the first row because I have no money. So I'm actually gonna grab these two. I'm leaving that squire until I think he's gonna be useful. Right now it's just not happening. So then we're gonna eliminate this whole second row, which is a bit of a bummer. And we'll scoot these down like so and refill. Now let's go place our cards. Okay, so we'll place another marketplace over here. You guys, I called this a radish, a turnip, whatever. <laughs> whatever it's called. And another regular customer. Yes, but we need to have pumpkins and cabbage. Okay, we'll see what we can do. First thing is, we're going to use these and we're going to make this customer happy and we're going to get five bucks. Woo! -hoo! All right, now what we're going to do. Now we're going to use our merchant. 
Our merchant is because we are having to uh, provide cabbage for both of these, we can buy a cabbage from here for $1. So we're gonna buy that and then we have to discard this because we've used our merchant and we get four bucks back. One, two, three, four. Then what we're going to do is we're gonna pay two more bucks so that we can lay this additional field. And we're gonna take this cabbage and plant it. Nice. So now we've got some more cabbage. Now we still need pumpkin. How are we gonna get pumpkin? Pretty simple. What we can do is use this bean and we will convert it with this pumpkin and then we'll immediately plant this pumpkin so that we get pumpkin and additional cabbage for this next round. Nice. We're gonna end this round. So this customer is unhappy because we did not supply to her what she asked for this round, but we will be able to next round. We have an entire two bucks, but that's not gonna help us a ton. We're just gonna pay one, move to uh, level four. We've got a long ways to go. <laughs> Let's start the next round. So we're gonna be at round four. We're almost halfway through. And we'll grab one of each of these for our harvest, which is nice. Now let's go look at the cards. And what's nice is we can actually purchase a card at level one if we want to. Oh, and I almost forgot. We gotta draw another one of these. Ah, now we have our wonderful uh, one that can actually hold leaks, which is really nice. Since we have an entire one buck left, I, of course, am gonna use it. <laughs> I've never said that I'm great at this game, I just love it. <laughs> I'm gonna grab this marketplace and then I think it's time to grab this squire. So then we're gonna eliminate all of these, move these down, and then refill them up. Now we're getting low in our deck here and how we get, how we will shuffle our discard pile is once our first private field has completely been utilized and we have to discard it. Let's go look at that squire quick so you know how it works. The squire is pretty cool. So it has an effect during the regular game, you can ignore that. For the solo game, you just can acquire up to four cards from the offer instead of two. So one round, if I actually have money at the end of a round, I can maybe buy up to four cards instead of just two. So that's kind of nice. So let's place our cards. We'll place that here and this here, and we'll fill up this marketplace. Now, if I wanted to do that two pack again, you see, I'd have to pay three bucks now because I have three marketplaces here. So you take whichever one has more and that's how much it would cost. And so right now I don't think I'm gonna do that. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some money. I'm gonna pay this regular customer. I get six bucks for that. Nice. And then I'm gonna pay this regular customer and that's gonna give me five bucks. Oh my gosh, I am rolling in the dough, you guys. That is 11 bucks. Whew. I think the next thing I'm gonna do, and don't ask me why, it's probably not the best idea, but I wanna do it. I'm gonna take this bean, and I'm gonna convert it into a leek so that I can plant that leek right here. And I'll get a leek for the next three rounds. Leaks are just so hard to come by, and this is such a great market conversion, I just wanted to do it. Other than that, I think that's all I'm gonna do for this round. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pay a buck, I'll move to five. Then I can pay six bucks. So I've got 10 here, I'll get four back to move up to number six. Nice, I finally moved two. That's what you gotta do, you gotta start doing that. Now I really need to start thinking about how I am going to um, pay this guy because what's really nice is right now I have more regular customers than I have casual. So because I have less casual, this is a plus two. So if I paid this off plus took care of them, I would make 11 bucks with this uh, for this card. But if there's the same amount of them, so let's say this guy wasn't here, then I just get nine bucks. Or let's say I didn't have a regular customer at all, I would only get seven bucks with this casual customer. So you can kind of see, you wanna pay, you wanna have casual customers, but you wanna pay them off when you have more of these regular customers so you get more money. Let's start that next round. Let's go harvesting. So I'll grab one of each of these. Oops. 
knocking things around. Didn't get the bean, got the pumpkin, cabbage, and my wonderful leek. All right, let's go look at our cards, and we can buy pretty much anything we want. We have four money. Let's see what we want to get. Before that, of course, I have to draw another private uh, field. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Okay, now let's go look at the cards. I may or may not be spreading myself too thin here, but I think what I'm going to do is grab this guy, regular customer, and this gal, regular customer. That one I had to pay two bucks for. So here's my two bucks. I have two bucks left. And let's go and reset up the market or the uh, the tableau here. So we'll move this down, move this to here. There we go. And then refill. Ooh, market woman, nice card. There we go. All right, let's go to the board. So I'm placing two more regular customers here. Whew, that is really gonna push my limits. But if I can, if I can get them what they need, I can start making some good money. So the first thing that we can do is let's do the pumpkin here and the cabbage here. That's gonna get me six bucks. Okay. Next, let's pay off this gal. She's gonna get me seven bucks. Let's do it. So I'm going to do this and this, and we get seven bucks. Now, normally, I may have not wanted to do that if I'd only had these two left, because once you pay them off, they immediately go away. And then if I'd only had this card left, I would have been one and one here. And so if I tried to pay, if I tried to uh, give this casual customer what they needed, I'd only get nine bucks instead of 11. But I've got tons of regular customers, so I'm not that worried. So I'm gonna just take all of these off of here. And I wish they went back to my supply, but they don't. <laughs> Instead, let's just move it in like so. These will all go back to the regular supply. I am now totally rolling in the dough. <laughs> Not really, but um, I can't believe I'm gonna do this, but I think I'm going to. I don't know if this is a good idea. I'm gonna take my leak, okay? I'm gonna give up a leak for this turnip. <laughs> oh, that's a terrible conversion. But I'm going to do that this round so I get six more bucks and keep that guy happy. Then I'm going to pay four of my bucks, one, two, three, four, to get one of my potato or pumpkins here and immediately plant it. With doing that, I am now getting myself two pumpkins to be able to take care of both of these uh, regular customer needs. The only thing I don't have is the, uh, the turnip for this regular customer. But I don't have any more fields that I can use, so it's just gonna be what it'll be. I think that's gonna end this round. So this is gonna go to unhappy. This customer is unhappy. I did not supply what they asked for this round. And I'm gonna pay one buck to move up to seven. Then I'm gonna pay five, eight, so I get two bucks back, that was 10, to move up to eight, and then five, six, seven. Oh, I have eight bucks, I needed nine to get to nine. I couldn't do it, didn't have enough. Bummer, oh, that's a real bummer, that's okay. Hopefully I can maybe move three spots next round. Remember, I have one, two, three, four, I have four more rounds, I have to get all the way up to 17. You gotta make a lot of money. I need to start thinking about this too. Man, okay. That's gonna end this round. So let's start the next round. First, let's harvest. And we now finally have where our first private fields empty out. When a private fields empty out, we will discard these. They're gone. We're gonna move these up. But that also means we get to shuffle the discard pile of the action uh, cards over here. I'm gonna shuffle that in to the very small <laughs> deck that we have left. So I'll do that quick. I'm gonna try and remember before seeing this that we have to flip our next uh, uh, um, private field. So <laughs> now let's go look at the cards. For this round, I don't wanna spend any money. So I'm gonna grab these two. I, I really like this uh, casual customer and this is gonna give us another marketplace. So let's discard these, move them all up, move them on up, and then we'll grab from our nicely new shuffled deck, and we'll place out the next ones for next round. Great. All right, let's go set these up.
first thing, let's set up our marketplace. And let's put these on here. And then let's get this casual customer. Now, first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna take this bean and we're gonna convert it into this turnip, okay? Then we're going to pay the turnip, the cabbage, and the leek to this customer, which we normally would get 11 bucks. However, we have regular customers here that are more than our casual, so we add two. So we're gonna get 13 bucks for that. Nice. So here's 10, 11, 12, 13. Nice. We're also going to pay these two regular customers that are unhappy. <laughs> we don't wanna skip out on that. So that's gonna give us six bucks, five and a one. And we're gonna pay this one off and that gives us a whopping four bucks. So I'm gonna return this one for a five. This pains me a bit, but I'm gonna to have to use six bucks here, you guys, six. Oh, that's so much money to get one bean. That's because we're not gonna be making any more beans, so we gotta plant this so at least we get beans for the next four rounds. And then we're gonna to have to figure out our radish issue, or our radish, our turnip issue as well, because we don't have any turnips and we're gonna need some turnips to pay her off. Yeah, that's a thought for another day. We're gonna flip her over to unhappy and we're now gonna use up a lot of our money to move up our prosperity. So first, one buck, to move to here, to nine. Then 10 bucks to move to 10. Then 11 bucks, look at that, to move up to 11. Nice, look at how far we went. Question is, can we maintain it? We're gonna make a lot of money next round. We might be able to get up to 14 maybe, but then our problem is, is we're gonna have paid this one off. So we need to replenish our regular customer, I think. I think that's what I'm gonna be planning for for next round. Okay, so next round we only have three left. So let's harvest. And we'll grab one of each of these and that's our final leak. And this gets discarded. And we'll move these up. And then because I'm remembering stuff, we're gonna grab our um, new private field, which is really nice. Now let's go look at our cards. You guys remember how I said that we needed another regular customer? Well, here's the replayability of the game, is how this always changes. I have to say, I've gotten hardly any assistance this round, which is very unusual. Um, but look at there's no regular customers. So, not gonna be able to do that. I'm gonna pay a buck, and I'm gonna get this um, harvest helper. And then, for free, I'm gonna grab this casual customer. Then I'm still not using my squire, because I don't really want any more of these. And we're gonna move these down like so. And refill her up. Whoops. Nice. Let's go to the board. Before going to the board, let's tell you what this harvest helper does. So you can harvest two vegetables from your own fields that contain four more vegetables, but of course not from your home field, or Fields that you plant in this action phase receive one additional vegetable token. That is so awesome, especially when you do leaks and stuff like that, but I think I'm gonna be using this for the front action, and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. First things first, let's set our new cards that we just got out on the board. Okay. I think the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use this harvest helper. We have pumpkins that have four of our uh, four pumpkins on the board. So we can discard this and grab two of them, harvest two of them right away. Yes! You know what that means. Boom! Look at this. We are gonna get another 13 bucks from a casual customer. 13 bucks is a lot. 10 plus 3. 13. Sweet. From there, we are going to take care of this uh, casual customer, and we're gonna get seven bucks. Five, seven. We're gonna take care of this one, and we're gonna get five bucks, basic five. And here's where we're stuck. So we've gotta think about how we're gonna do this. This is definitely not perfect. It's not the way I would wanna do this, but I think this is how we're gonna have to do this. We are going to use this pumpkin and we're gonna trade it one for one for this bean, okay? 
Then what we're going to do is we're gonna pay 10 bucks. Oh, 10 bucks. I don't wanna do that. But we're gonna grab two of these turnips. We're gonna have one here and then we're gonna plant this one. Ugh. Wish I would have done that earlier. I, this is where my lack of thinking ahead hurts me. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. Let's sort of place that there. But I did pay 10, right? But I am going to get seven back at least and I'm not gonna lose money. And now I'm guaranteed to get that each round. So five plus two is seven. There's no way I'm gonna do this. I think I'm all set. So what I'm going to do is start moving up the track. So first, one buck moves to 12. Then 13, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13 moves us to here. Do I have 14? Anybody have say 14? Uh, no. I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I have 10 though. So that's, that's pretty good. Hopefully next time I can go, I've got two more rounds. Hopefully I can go one buck here, 15, and I can do one buck here and do 17 and at least get to 17. It's definitely a possibility. Oh, and I need to pull this guy out, or gal. She was a very good regular customer. She helped me out. Let's start the second to last round. Boy, this game goes quick. And we're gonna get our last cabbage here, and a pumpkin, and a bean. Nice, we can discard this, move these up. And we do get our last, uh, private land. We're not going to get another one next round, but we do have one more round. Let's go to the cards. Do you guys remember that squire from a long time ago? I'm going to use that. That's going to allow me to purchase four cards this round. I'm being risky. <laughs> I'm going to pay two bucks here because I really want another regular customer. The only one is here. I don't have enough time. So I'm going to grab him. I'm going to grab this, the market woman and this marketplace. And I'm gonna get this casual customer for one buck. Okay, let's go look at that market woman so you guys know what she does. Before we do that, let's finish clearing this up for one final round. So we're gonna get a lot of new cards here because <laughs> I cleaned this baby out. Let's see, there we go. Where are all the regular customers? Oh, there they are, there's three of them. Well, that's not very helpful. So she's got a pretty cool ability. She can exchange one of your market uh, stalls with another player, and then you refill both of them. So I'm actually gonna use the dummy player. This is the only time I'm probably gonna use the dummy player when I use this card. Pretty cool. Let's place all four cards. So I'll place the market woman here. I'm going to, just so you guys can see it, technically this should be in the other row, but I'm gonna place this market stall here just so you guys can see it. We've got another casual customer and a regular customer. And I'm going to fill this up with veggies. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take care of my two necessary uh, regular customers that I need to fulfill. That's going to give me seven bucks. Of two here plus a five. And then over here, that's going to give me five bucks. Awesome. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the market woman and I'm going to get rid of this market stall. Technically, I would need to refill it, but I'm just not gonna worry about that because I'm not gonna be able to use the dummy player's cards anymore. And I'm gonna bring this market stall over here, which is awesome. And so then I have to discard her. Now, why did I wanna do that, do you ask? Well, very good question. I'm gonna take this cabbage and I'll for one for one get this leech, leek. I always call it a leech, leek, okay? Then I'm gonna pay three measly bucks to go get a, a grain here, and then I'm gonna pay off this casual customer to get 11 bucks. Nice, 10 and 11, that's a good trade I think. Last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pay three bucks, so I get two of these back, to get the final grain here, or wheat, convert it into a bean. And then I'm gonna take this bean and I'm gonna plant it here, just so that way I can take care of for sure all my regular customers next round, which will be nice. 
Okay, let's move up the track. One buck, we move to 14. Five, 10, 15, for sure. Awesome. 16, not a chance. <laughs> so my guess is I'm hopefully gonna be able to get to 17 for next round. Let's do the final round. I'm gonna grab one of each of these. And there's gonna be no private field we have to uh, pull out, which is nice. So let's now go over to look at the cards, see what we wanna get. Last round picking cards. I'm gonna pay one buck to get this foreman and you pay nothing for this shopper. Now, we don't have to worry about these cards because we're not gonna be buying anymore, so I'm gonna remove these from play and I'm gonna show you these two cards so you can see how they work. I'll use them right away so that you know. Um, so I'll just show you and then we'll use them. The shopper will let us buy one vegetable from the supply, not from the shop. That vegetable costs two less than it would in the shop. So we're gonna use that right away. We're gonna pay one buck to get one grain or wheat, I always call them grain. I think they're basically the same. Then with this foreman, we're gonna use his ability to take one helper immediately after it's placed in the discard pile and you can take it and use it again. So I'm going to simply do the shopper a second time, pay one more buck and get another grain. And you'll see why I do this in a second. First thing that we're gonna do is we're going to take one of these grain or wheat and give it up to get a turnip or a radish or whatever it's called. Oh, I'm so excited, I just can't think, okay? Because we're gonna put this here, this here, and this here, and we're gonna make 11 bucks. 10 plus one is 11, awesome. So, taken care of. Then we're gonna pay off these two regular customers. So that's gonna get us six bucks. Five plus one is six. And we're gonna get eight bucks here. Five, six, seven, eight. Awesome, and we've paid off both of these regular customers. Nice. And you guys, I was looking, I was hoping I was gonna be able to do, get enough to get to 18, but I'm not. I'm gonna just end this round, we'll flip this over. This uh, customer never was uh, provided with what he wanted. Uh-oh, is that right? If that's right, I think I should have flipped that last round, right? Because I didn't get that this round. So I'd have to pay two bucks, which is totally fine. I'll pay the two bucks. That's okay, because I'm not gonna be able to go up anymore anyways. Sorry about that, so I should have flipped that the last round. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pay one buck to move up to 16. Then I have five, 10, 15, 16, 17 to move to 17. And then I have 10 bucks left. Uh, not enough to get to 18. Bummer! So at least that was a good play. It wasn't a great play or a fantastic play. I still have never gotten to 19. I've gotten to 18 once. That is Gates of Loyang. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's a great solo experience. There's lots of thinking about which cards to purchase, how you wanna make sure you make that, make enough money, et cetera, et cetera. I really enjoy it. It's a, you definitely have to sit down and think, but it's also not very long. It's not a long game. And if you just kinda wanna play and you don't really care what score you get, you could play this in 15 minutes. If you're really trying to optimize your score, I mean, I think this playthrough took me about an hour and a half, and that's with the camera stuff and with trying to make uh, decisions and then explain it to you guys. So you can see it's not terribly long. It's a lot of fun. I, I really suggest it. I, I think they just did a, a new reprint, so it was not expensive at all to get. So that's Gates of Loyang. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching.